Sushi Go is a 15 minute game for 2 to 5 players in which you try to snag the best dishes at a sushi restaurant. Pick the right combination of cards and block your opponent's moves to win the game. Try not to get too hungry as you play this easy to play draft and pass game. Sushi Go consists of 3 rounds. In each round players are dealt a number of cards. On a turn, everyone picks a card to play and simultaneously reveals them. Pass your hand to the player on your left and start the next turn with your new hand. The round ends when you play the last card in your hand. At the end of each of the three rounds, players add up their points. Each card is scored differently and have cheat notes written on them to help you remember. Nigiri are worth points equal to the number on the card. Wasabi will triple the value of one nigiri. You must play a wasabi card first, and on a later turn, play a nigiri card on top of it. Wasabi by themselves are worth 0 points. Tempura are worth 5 points for each pair and are otherwise worth nothing. Sashimi are worth 10 points for each set of 3 and are otherwise worth nothing. Dumplings are worth 1 by themselves. A set of 2 is worth 3 points, a set of 3 is worth 6, a set of 4 is worth 10, and a set of 5 or more is worth 15. The player with the most Maki rolls earns 6 points. If there is a tie, the six points are split evenly, ignoring the remainder, and no points are given to second place. If there is no tie for first, the player with the second most earns three points, which are again split evenly, ignoring the remainder if there is a tie for second place. You must have at least one Maki to earn points this way. Putting cards are special. You do not score them until the end of the last round. Chopsticks earn no points. After a round ends and you've added up your points, move all face-up cards to the discard and deal a new hand to each player for the next round. The exception is that pudding remains on the table until the end of the game. The player with the most pudding at the end of the game earns 6 points, split evenly among tied players, ignoring the remainder. The player with the least pudding, which could mean no pudding at all, loses 6 points, split evenly among tied players, ignoring the remainder. During the game, chopsticks are played like a normal card. On any future turn that round, before revealing cards, you may call out Sushi Go! Take a second card from your hand and play them both. Return your chopsticks card to your hand before you pass it to the next player. While you can have multiple chopsticks in your play area, you may only use one per turn. To begin a game of Sushi Go, shuffle and deal cards according to the number of players. 10 cards for a two-player game, 9 for 3 players, 8 for 4, or 7 for 5 players. We're Games Explained, and that's how to play Sushi Go.